Hi students, I'm Dr. Bhavana. In this lecture, we are going to deal about cockroach. In the previous lecture, in structural organization in animals, we have dealt about earthworm. See, here there are three important organisms in association with human beings. See, in humans, we have dealt about the circulatory system, digestive system. All the systems in humans we have already dealt. So, in structural organization in animals, mainly three important animals are mainly they will ask in meat syllabus. The first one is earthworm, we already have discussed about it. The second main important is cockroach. Third, you also have other organism called as frog. That is also important because so many meat questions will be based on these only. So, you better... Um, Concentrate on this cockroach first. So cockroaches, where you see most of our, they are nocturnal. Nocturnal means what? They are active during night time. So many cockroaches you see, they moving around during night time only, not during daytime. Daytime means they are called as diurnal organisms. Uh, night time means they are called as they are nocturnal animals. Means they are mostly active during night time. And they measure about 1 fourth inch to 3 inches in diameter. That is very important neat question mostly asked. Like they will give in the match the following like that. Uh, what is how many inches it measures in size. That is it is about 1 by 4 inch. 3 inches in diameter in length. See, 1 fourth to 3 inches it is very small organism. So, mostly it is which colored first thing. It is mostly brown or black colored. Wherever we see cockroaches, it is mostly brown or black colored. Brown or black. And we see other colors also like green, yellow, red. They are available in tropical regions mainly. Means in Rajasthan side as well as in the India tropical regions means where mostly India only is first of all tropical region. In tropical regions where we find means in Rajasthan, Maharashtra there we find different colors of cockroaches that is we find green color, red, yellow, so many colors will be there. But mostly we see brown or black colored organisms. You see in many ants also, numerous colors of um, they will be there. So like that, this is uh, mainly the brief introduction. So they are nocturnal and they act as pests also. In the household items, wherever we see, in mostly they are nocturnal pests. They're, and they are classified as class insecta under phylum arthropoda. We will deal about the phyla in the animal kingdom. Different phylum will be there. And these cockroaches, they are under arthropoda. Because they have a pair of walking legs and all they will have. So they are classified, we will deal in detail about that. So they are classified under class insecta. Class is insecta, okay? Next, phylum is arthropoda. Phylum is arthropoda. So, this is about mainly the brief introduction of cockroach. So, first what we have done. They are mostly nocturnal pests. Nocturnal means what? They are mostly active during night time than day time. And they are about 1 fourth inch to 3 inches in length. In length, how much inches? Important neat question. 1 fourth to 3 inches in length. Next, which color organisms they are? Mostly they are brown or black colored mostly. We also see red, yellow, green color in tropical regions of our country. Mostly in Rajasthan, Maharashtra, there we find different colors of or uh, cockroaches mostly like brown, red, green, like that yellow. And they are classified under class insecta of phylum arthropoda. They are classified under which phylum? Important neat question. They are classified under phylum arthropoda. Arthropoda so many will be there. Like um, 
so many cockroaches, uh, snails and all also and the phylum uh, arthropoda and they are insects only no? that's why they are classified as a class insecta class insecta as well as phylum arthropoda so this is a brief introduction about the cockroach next we are going to deal about the anatomy of the cockroach so mostly the cockroach they are about 35 mm in length here inches we have seen no here in mm we will see 30 to 35 mm in length mm in length also they will ask so they are about 30 to 35 mm in length and in cockroach uh, they, it is the most common indian cockroaches periplaneta americana like in earthworm we see what are the most common indian earthworms they are ferritima as well as lumbricus like that here also in cockroach the most common indian earthworm is peri, uh, cockroach is periplaneta americana periplaneta americana they will not give you cockroach is uh, how much uh, in length or it is classified under they won't give you like that in neat they will ask all scientific names only they will ask for earthworm also ferritima it exhibits which type of circulatory system like that they will ask means it exhibits closed type of circulatory system like that you have to answer then in cockroach also they won't ask cockroach is how many like that. they will ask periplaneta americana so that is important mainly periplaneta americana it is the scientific name of the cockroach the most common indian cockroach is periplaneta americana so it is about 30 to 35 mm in length and the cockroach it is divided into head the body parts are divided into head thorax as well as abdomen only three parts three main parts that is head next thorax the middle part first part is head middle part is thorax the last part is abdomen for cockroach also there is abdomen okay head thorax as well as abdomen next the cockroach is covered by means outer layer of the cockroach it is covered for us like skeleton how inside skeleton is there like that for them also cockroaches also outside it is covered by exoskeleton i now i'll say periplaneta americana scientific name so for periplaneta americana outside it is covered by exoskeleton mostly exoskeleton exoskeleton called as sclerites and they have numerous on the exoskeleton they have sclerites outside layer sclerites and these sclerites they are connected to each other by a uh, membrane called as arthropodial membrane arthropodial membrane how these sclerites are connected to each other they are connected to each other by arthropodial membrane so cockroaches they are about 30 to 35 mm in length in and the scientific name of cockroach is periplaneta americana and in uh, the cockroach is mainly divided into first the body parts are divided into head thorax as well as abdomen only three parts simply you can remember as head thorax as well as abdomen next the body outside it is covered by exoskeleton exoskeleton is hard tough structure when you suppose touch a cockroach you will feel that it has some hard structure that is nothing but sclerites okay so sclerites these sclerites are interconnected with each other by a membrane called as arthropodial membrane they are interconnected to each other by arthropodial membrane how they are interconnected and what is that which is covered by um, exoskeleton is covered by sclerites so this is an important anatomy so in detail we will deal first in the head of the cockroach there are two main important parts see suppose i will draw a cockroach diagram see this is head it consists of eyes as well as antenna antenna are long structures next this is pronotum 
this is thorax it's divided into it has two wing like structures and these are legs these antenna they are very long structures okay they are not short they are very long for a brief diagram and these are so it is covered by hard sclerites the exoskeleton is covered by and these are the wings of the cockroach so i'll tell you first this is called as head okay in the head first what is present it has compound eyes for earthworm eyes are absent but for uh, cockroach eyes are present in the head they are large eyes compound eyes are present and two antenna are present antenna means what they are for normally for wifi and all we require uh, antenna like that for them also they require antenna they help in sensing the environment like outside environment when they are going uh, from one place to another they should sense the environment so how this environment they are sensing by this antenna only these antenna like structures these are antenna okay they help in monitoring or uh, they act as sensory organs they help in monitoring the environment and this is head and these are eyes of the cockroach so this is about the head as well as in the head there are numerous mouth parts that are present like a zone mouth part means what are present first one is labrum next labium one pair of maxilla one pair of maxilla as well as one pair of mandible as well as tongue is present tongue these are the main mouth parts which are present in the cockroach what are the mouth parts that are present in cockroach labrum labium one pair of maxilla one pair of mandible as well as tongue is present labrum labrum is nothing but upper lip okay labrum like humans only it also has upper lip as well as lower lip upper lip in scientific name we call it as labrum whereas labium is lower lip this is upper lip this is lower lip only one is present one upper labrum one lower labium as well as one pair of maxilla are present one pair of mandible is present as well as one muscular organ called as tongue is also present so these are the mouth parts that are present so mainly first we have dealt about the main part that is called as head so in the head what we have seen um, head it has mainly three parts first eyes are present like in earthworm uh, eyes are not absent eyes are present and these are compound eyes they are also called as ocellus ocellus okay ocellus and two eyes are present as well as one pair of antenna that is two antenna are present these antenna they are called as sensory organs and they help in monitoring the environment and next mouth parts in the mouth parts it should uh, ingest so many food substances so it has mouth it has one upper lip one lower lip as well as one pair of maxilla maxilla means what upper jaw upper jaw is called as maxilla one pair is present that is two parts of maxilla are present as well as mandible also two mandibles are present that is one pair is present how many maxilla are present in cockroach important neat question how many mandible are present so one pair of maxilla one pair of mandible are present one tongue is present next upper lip one upper lip as well as one lower lip one pair of maxilla one pair of mandible as well as one tongue is present tongue it is a muscular organ so this is about the head next we are going to see about the thorax so in the thorax mainly what we see so the thorax it has three parts 
that is prothorax, mesothorax, metathorax. Prothorax, thorax is mainly divided into prothorax, mesothorax, then metathorax. There is no role of prothorax. It only connects head to thorax. Suppose for our head to our body, which is connecting, neck is connecting. So like that, the prothorax is also called as neck. So prothorax is also like neck only. It has no use. It just connects the head to thorax. Head to thorax, there should be some continuation. That continuation is caused by prothorax. That is called as neck. Okay. So mesothorax next. Mesothorax as well as metathorax as well as prothorax, they have a pair of walking legs. See, this is mesothorax, okay? This is prothorax first. Prothorax. Next, this is mesothorax. Meso. Next is metathorax. You should remember this thorax in an order only. Because prothorax comes first. That connects head with the neck. As well as next to mesothorax. Next to metathorax. So these three parts, they are in an order. Prothorax, mesothorax. See, each part, it has a pair of walking legs. These are called as legs. For like how for humans, limbs are present for them also, legs are present to walk around. So these legs, they are present in the thorax mainly. Uh, so prothorax, mesothorax as well as metathorax. Next, in me, so prothorax I told you, it will help in uh, the connection of head to thorax. That is also called as pronotum. Pronotum. See, scientific names only mostly they will ask in heat. So you should all uh, mostly learn the scientific names. So mainly pro, head connects with the, this, so it is called as prothorax. And next, mesothorax has a pair of walking legs, I told you. Prothorax, metathorax. Three have a pair of walking legs. Means one pair of walking legs are present. For what is the use? Means they help in moving around walking legs. Next, mesothorax and metathorax exclusively they have a special feature that is called as mainly wings are present. Wings in mesothorax as well as metathorax, wings are present. A pair of wings. So, here this is, I told you, mesothorax. This is one pair of wing. These first type of wings are called as tegmina. 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 That are also called as four wings. Or four wings, we say. Next pair of wings are called as hind wings. What is the use of these wings? They help in flying, simply. They, some cockroaches also fly. If they don't fly also, these uh, wings are compulsory present in a cockroach. So, uh, small distance only they will fly. They are not birds to fly from one place to another. They will have only a simple uh, structure to move from one place to another. That is very simple. In some wings are rudimentary. Like rudimentary means they are not functional. So, these uh, first pair of wings, technically they are called as tegmina or they are called as four wings mainly. Next pair of wings, they are called as hind wings. So, first pair that is tegmina, they are present in the mesothorax, the second part. Metathorax wings, they are called as hind wings. Mesothorax, four wings. Metathorax, hind wings. So, uh, in the mesothorax, four wings are present and they are opaque, means they are dark brown in color as well as they are opaque in structure. Means they are not transparent, they are very opaque in structure. When it comes to hind wings, they are transparent in structure. They are very transparent and colorless, like that they will be very transparent. So they are called, uh, the four wings, they are very opaque, they are dark brown in color and they will not allow light to pass from one place to another. So then only they are called as opaque. 
if the light is allowed to pass from one place to another they are called as penguins so they are transparent so this is about the mainly four wings as well as hind wings so uh, we have first we have dealt about head in head what is present eyes and then as well as mouth parts are present and then they help in uh, that is sensory organ they help in locomotion they help in monitoring the environment so these help eyes compound eyes are present they are also somewhat sensitive to light that's why these are called as nocturnal animals that is they are active during night time next when it comes to uh next when it comes to thorax in the second part that is called as thorax there are three parts prothorax mesothorax then metathorax in mesothorax and metathorax wings are present prothorax there is no function only it help in uh, connection of head to prothorax that is head to thorax is connected by prothorax so prothorax act as a neck mainly so in um, but in prothorax mesothorax as well as metathorax there are a pair of legs are present pair of legs uh, walking legs are present and next in mesothorax as well as metathorax wings are present first pair in mesothorax they are called as tegmina or called as four wings next pair which is present in the metathorax that is called as hind wings so four wings mainly they are opaque and dark brown in color they won't allow light to pass but in the hind wings they will allow the light to pass so they are called as hind wings and they are transparent and they are colorless so this is about mainly head as well as thorax next the third part which we see is called as abdomen we'll see about the abdomen so in this is simple structure which i have drawn so that it will be very easy for you in your intermediate also you can learn as well as in neat also they'll um, give you a picture of cockroach and they will ask you to identify four wings hind wings as well as prothorax mesothorax metathorax as well as clearites everything i showed you compound eyes and then everything i showed next to the third part is nothing but abdomen i told you three parts that is head to thorax as well as abdomen so in abdomen mainly see abdomen is different in males and females earthworm as it is a hermaphrodite both are present in the same individual but in cockroaches they are different female cockroaches as well as male cockroaches both are present both are different so in this abdomen first both uh, males as well as female cockroaches both have 10 segments 10 segments are present 10 segments so in first females when we come in females next in males you can write this as tabular column so that it will be very easy for you so in females mainly what are present a males anal style is present whereas in females anal style is absent you can write it like this so that you can easily remember anal style anal styles are present in males whereas in females they are absent anal style anal style is nothing but near the anus it is present these are called as anal styles so in males as well as in females in males these are present whereas in females they are absent whereas in the 10th segments you said abdomen is divided into 10 segments in both males and females in 10th segment anal sac is present both in males as well as females anal sac is present anal sac is present in both males as well as in females also anal sac is present next seventh segment that is seventh sternum in females it is boat shaped like how in our ribs 
seven we already have dealt in locomotion and movement like our um, sternum is divided into um, that is vertebra they are divided into numerous uh, vertebra as well as ribs also floating ribs everything we see like that in cockroach also seven sternum is boat shaped it is boat shaped when it uh, combines with eighth and ninth sternum eighth and ninth sternum that is seven this boat shaped which sternum is boat shaped important neat question in cockroach they ask so seventh sternum is boat shaped in eighth and ninth sternum when these three combine they form genital pouch in females that is they form genital pouch that is which which segment 7th 8th as well as 9th they form genital pouch so what will happen here gonopores are present as well as female genital pore everything they open in 7th 8th 9th segments that is 7th 8th 9th sternum they, this will open that is nothing but the genital pouch or brood pouch they will open in the 7th 8th as well as 9th segment when it comes to males when it comes to males what will happen is 9th as well as 10th targum targum along with the 9th sternum targa are different as well as sternum is different 9th and 10th sternum as uh, targum along with the 9th sternum on the ventral side on ventral side is important here on ventral side these give uh, opening to male genital opening as well as gonopores here female genital opening is 7 8 9 they form genital pouch or brood pouch they give a openings to female genital openings as well as gonopores when it comes to males 9th and 10th targum along with 9th sternum on the ventral side these form the uh these uh, uh, play a very important role in openings of male genital openings so this is about the abdomen i have uh, given you like a tabular column because this is uh, this is somewhat you should remember type thing because um, see in 7th 8th 9th 9th targum these all segments you should remember because these only they will ask in neat so that's why to easily understand differences between males and females in cockroaches i have given you as a tabular column so that if you write down as tabular column you can easily remember so the head we have discussed next to thorax we have discussed thorax only mainly it has a uh, walking legs as well as wings head means simply head it has eyes and then as well as these are present but when it comes to abdomen um, abdomen only mainly in 10 segments are present in abdomen in abdomen 10 segments what are present see first in female in males we we'll see anal styles are present only in males only in males anal style is present when it comes to females anal style is absent in females both anal circa are present in both males as well as females anal circa are present anal style is only in males it is present next when it comes to uh, sternum that is in seventh segment seventh sternum is boat shaped in females whereas eighth and ninth the 7 8 9 7 8 9 easily remember from 7th to 9th sternum genital pouch or brood pouch that is gonopores as well as female genital openings open in the females whereas in males 9th and 10th targum as well as 9th sternum that is present on the ventral side there they open on the ventral side so this is about mainly about the abdomen 10 segments anal styles are present only in males anal circa in both they are present 7 8 9 form the female genital opening 9 10 as well as 9th sternum 9th and 10th targa along with the 9th sternum on the ventral side they 
So next we are going to deal about the respiratory system of the cockroach. So in the respiratory system of the cockroach, mainly in the respiratory system, trachea is present. Like our human beings only, trachea is present. Trachea. So this trachea will divide into numerous branches called as tracheoles. See, like us only, trachea is present first mainly. And it is divided into numerous branches. These are called as tracheoles. So that they carry oxygen to all parts of the body. For cockroach also oxygen is required, right? Oxygen is required for, um, for exchange of gases. This exchange of gases usually takes place in the cockroach by diffusion process. Mainly takes place by diffusion. Like our uh, in human beings, how exchange of gases takes place? Like in human beings, lungs play a very important role. Like that for um, uh, respiratory system in cockroach also mainly, it has a trachea first. Trachea and trachea is divided into numerous branches called as tracheoles. So suppose this is trachea, these are divided into tracheoles. So these tracheoles, the, these uh, are fine branches which carry oxygen to different parts of the bodies of the cockroach. They carry mainly oxygen, okay. This to the environment, the how the exchange of gases takes place. Suppose this full trachea as well as tracheoles, everything inside the body it will take place. But when it comes to outside the body, that is outside, how it, this will take place? In the outside of the body, how it will take place is through spiracles, the main organ which is present. How respiratory exchange in cockroach takes place is by nothing but spiracles. 10 pairs of spiracles are present. 10 pairs of spiracles are present in cockroach. 10 pairs are present. So these 10 pairs, how from trachea, tracheoles, they are given out through. That is how the attachment is there by splinters. These splinters only, they attach to the spiracles and they help in exchange of gases. Suppose this is the See, thin, suppose this is a cockroach. So, this is trachea. Imagine, in the middle it is present, trachea. So, these trachea, these give out tracheoles, numerous tracheoles it will give out. So, here only 10 pairs of spiracles are present. 10 pairs are present. Not 10, 10 pairs means both sides are present. These only here splinters are present and they help in exchange of gases. Mainly here splinters as well as spiracles are present. So these only play a very important role. Spiracles, about 10 pairs are present. So this is about the respiratory system of the cockroach. So what we have dealt in the respiratory system of the cockroach, like in our humans only, trachea is present. So this trachea is divided into numerous tubules called as tracheal tracheoles that is tracheal tubules so in the tracheoles these only play a very important role in exchange of gases how they play an important role in exchange of gases is through the process called as diffusion so through diffusion only plays a very important role so 10 pairs of spiracles are present mainly uh, 10 pairs these spiracles will have splinters that help in exchange of gases. Mainly exchange of gases means how it takes place is oxygen only plays a very important role. This oxygen uh, play a very important role. That is these tracheoles. They will help in distribution of oxygen in different parts of the body. Like this. Like 10 pairs are present in the middle trachea is present. Tracheoles diffuse. That is simple process. So, respiratory system means what we have to see is only remember 10 pairs of spiracles as well as trachea. Only two points in respiratory system. That is 10 pairs of spiracles are present as well as tracheoles as well as trachea are present. They help in 
by a process of diffusion that is simple this is simply about the respiratory system of cockroach so till now what we have dealt in today's lecture next lecture we are going to deal about the uh, elementary canal as well as excretory system nervous system circulatory system as well as uh, the last one is uh, reproductive system of cockroach and cockroach will be done today what we have done is mo mostly anatomy of the cockroach we have done how what are the where they are found they are nocturnal as well as where they are found they are that is the nocturnal as well as they are mostly found in tropical regions as they are classified under class insecta and phylum arthropoda next we have seen about how much length that is 1 by 4 inches to 3 inches in length the cockroach is 1 by 4 to 3 inches in length next we have seen about the what are the parts that are present in the cockroach that is head the thorax as well as abdomen head it has nothing but antenna are present eyes are present mouth parts are present simple next thorax mesothorax metathorax prothorax prothorax it acts as neck mesothorax it has uh, mesothorax legs it has metathorax also leg it has prothorax also has a pair of walking legs all have pair of walking legs only two places wings are present that is mesothorax as well as metathorax wings are present that is four wings as well as hind wings are present next in four wings what we have seen in four wings mainly what is present is they are opaque and dark in structure whereas um, hind wings they are very leathery as well as they are very colorless transparent we have seen next we have seen abdomen i have given you tabular column of the abdomen in the abdomen what we have seen is males and females differently i have seen anal styles they are present only in males whereas anal cerci in males and females both are present anal cerci next what we have seen next we have seen about the brood pouch or the genital pouch it is formed in females by 7 8 9 segments Seventh sternum is boat shaped. Eighth and ninth normal only. So seven, eight, nine. Next to the uh, in males, what we have seen here, female genital opening. There in males, ninth and tenth targum, as well as only tenth segment. That is ninth and tenth uh, targum on the dorsal side, as well as ninth sternum on the ventral side. here male genital opening is present so this is about about the abdomen we have seen next we have seen about the respiratory system respiratory system trachea tracheoles 10 pairs of spiracles diffusion process that's it this is about the respiratory system so today we have dealt about all these in the next session we will deal about the excretory system and all excretory system as well as uh, elementary canal everything we will see in detail